With a display of characteristic professionalism, Megan, you've employed a fact checker for your podcast, which is of course misnamed Archetypes. Yeah, I just thought it would be best to, you know, get an independent fact checker for the podcast to make sure that, you know, everything's up to scratch and on the level. You've selected a woman, of course, and a very brilliant woman. Yeah, you know, I was just looking for an independent fact checker who was really excelling in their personal life and in their personal interests. And, you know, they can come on and really hold the show to account, you know, and you know, maybe even me to account if, if necessary. <laughs> I don't think that'll be necessary. <laughs> and if she actually did, I mean, can you imagine? And what I really want to do is avoid the accusation that I'm creating a low energy echo chamber, only interested in pushing narratives that are beneficial to grievance mongers and those who feed off the all pervasive victim mentality. Hey, what a thing to suggest. However, you have selected a virtual carbon copy of yourself, Megan, albeit one with slightly more literary ability, uh, Nicole Pazolka, uh, whose interests include criminal justice, activism, music, business, queer culture, and gender. It's almost like a rewritten version of Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire, but with more beautiful lyrics. Yeah, you know, she's a very talented, multi-talented individual who's got a wide range of interests in the crucial themes and subjects of the day. Yes, well, subjects and themes that have been artificially thrust to the peak of conversation in the last 20 minutes and that we discuss instead of the very real economic, social and moralistic collapse happening as we speak. Yeah, those are the ones. Yeah, she's a really great addition to the team. I'm sure. I mean, how could anyone who describes himself as an activist not be? Touché, Dr. Jackson. She's also recently published a book entitled How You Get Famous. <gasps> Why Megan could be writing that with her left hand, whilst in her right hand holding a ultra-vegan, no-fat, no-taste, no-foam, avocado milk chai latte. Uh, the book is actually a deep dive into New York City's underground drag scene and has been praised as an engaging book that will appeal to scholars of gender as well as anyone with an interest in queer culture. At last, someone's filled the void. I mean, there's been a demand there for years. Yes, if you want to know anything about drag culture now, you have to ask a six-year-old. But Megan, considering the term fact checker is rather contentious, lacking as we are a book of unbiased truth etched into the rocks of reality, is Miss Pazuka really going to contradict anything you say that's convenient to her narratives, which, as we've already established, almost completely mirror yours? Well, you know, what can I say? I mean, truth. Mirrors truth. But we're thinking about taking her on the road with us. <laughs> Sing on the road again, Harry. Or can't he or Willie Nelson? Uh, Willie Nelson. On the road again. Do, 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 do. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Do, 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 do. I found love was making music with my friends. Do, do, do. And I can't wait to get on the road again. Look, don't ask me how it's done, but apparently you can click a like button or something, even a subscribe button. Rumor has it there's a notification bell and a sharing option. I've got no idea how to do it, but if you can work it out, I'd really appreciate it.